Hey everyone, today I'm going to start my series on how to write your reports in PowerPoint instead of Word. Nine tips for getting started. So I'm going to create one video for each of the nine tips and I hope that you will follow along. Back in 2018, I wrote this guest blog post for my friend Anne's blog and design company called Depict Data Studio and I'll put the links uh, to this blog post and to her company down in the show notes. They do great work uh, and I hope you'll check her out. I'm going to scroll down here so you can see some of the tips. Now we already made a video about how to change your slide orientation because most reports um, if they're meant to sort of be printed or read they're going to probably be in that traditional page orientation of eight and a half by eleven page so we've already changed our our slide to that and now I'm going to talk to you about tip number two which is is making use of the page ruler grid lines and guides. So I'm going to drag my window over here and you can see we have my report that I started here and I don't have any guides or grid lines on the page right now. You can see it's a totally blank, uh, kind of a blank slate here, but we do have these rulers here. And that's because I'm up here in the view tab. You can actually customize whether or not you see the rulers and then also your guidelines uh, and also grid lines. So I'm actually going to go and click on the home tab because that's probably what you opened your PowerPoint slide to. When you want to customize the rulers, the guidelines, or the grid lines, we're going to go to the view tab. So go ahead and click on the view tab in the ribbon and you'll see right here in this show section that there is ruler, grid lines, and guides um, that you can select. Now I actually don't have any guides on the page because I have deleted them, um, but it says that I have them. So I'm going to uncheck this box. When I recheck the box, it's going to add back my grid lines. And you can see you'll get a default uh, two or two guidelines here. You'll have one in the middle uh, vert uh, horizontally, and you'll have one in the middle of the page um, vertically there. Yeah. And the other thing that you might want to check is this grid lines box. If you check the grid lines, it'll just give you kind of a square, uh, square by square, columns and rows, background, each identical squares. And that can be sort of helpful to use uh, just sort of as a visual guide when you're designing your pages because you want things to be aligned properly. You want to be able to sort of section or chunk your report in different sort of visual sections. And you can use those grid lines pretty effectively. But I like to create custom grid lines uh, and custom design grids, usually either like three, uh, three rows and three columns or six rows and six columns. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And first, I'm going to get rid of these grid lines again. So I'm going to uncheck that box. Now with the rulers up here, you actually can see like how far apart each of the grid lines might be. And when you want to drag this over, what you're going to do is you're going to hover your mouse over the grid line and go ahead and click and just move it over. So I'm going to put it here um, at this half inch mark. Now if I wanted to create extra grid lines, you can do that. Just hover over the grid line again. I, I usually right click my mouse and you can see here there's all these options. But I'm going to add a vertical, a vertical guide like this and that adds a second one. And then I can actually move that over into another area. I'm going to go ahead and right click again, add a, add a vertical, Go ahead and drag it over. So everything is sort of evenly spaced kind of manually by the ruler. So you can go ahead and do that. You could do that of any sort of size and shape. Let's see if I just have these three here. Maybe I'll just do one on either end and maybe I'll do the same thing with my horizontal. I'm going to go ahead and add a horizontal. I'm going to go ahead and add another horizontal so that I can have this like three by three. So I'll do like this half inch there. We'll keep the zero one and then we'll do the half inch there. Now you can see now that my page, I'm going to go ahead and um, kind of move this text box off so you can really see the grid here. You can see I have these like four boxes or quadrants uh, and then I have this sort of gutter in the margins on the left, the right, the top and the bottom. So that's pretty cool but it takes a long time if you actually want to design a nice um, sort of design grid and there are a lot of tutorials on YouTube about how to sort of hack your own design grid, but I have an even better solution. Um, but it involves down, downloading a free PowerPoint add-in, and it is called BrightSlide. It is developed by a presentation company called Bright Carbon, and they have given the presentation world um, and you a free PowerPoint add-in that allows you to do some really cool things in PowerPoint in a very easy way. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is actually I'm just going to um, delete these grid lines by clicking on them, dragging them off 
the page, and you can see they disappear when you drag them off the page. Just click on it and release your mouse, drag it all the way up, and they're already gone. So I'm going to, what you're going to have to do is you're going to go ahead and just Google Brightside and Bright Carbon. Brightside and Bright Carbon. You will get this first link here, Brightside, and go ahead and download it. Free download for Windows. There's also a download for Mac. Looking for the Mac version, just click on that and you can download it here. Now I've already downloaded it and you can see once you do it successfully, you'll see a Bright Slide tab up here in the ribbon. So I'm going to go ahead and select it. Now there are so many time-saving uh, tricks and buttons and features here in Brightside, but the one that I really love is this one right here under File and Master. You'll see this Guides button this guides drop down. When you drop down, you can say create guides and you can add the guides to your master slide, any of the master layouts or the normal view. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and click. Um, I get got to get rid of that dialog box there. I'm going to go ahead and click the add to normal view and you'll see that this dialog box pops up and you can actually say how large you want the top and top and bottom margins to be, how large you want the left and right margins to be, and then how many columns and how many rows you want to create in your design grid. And you can even switch the units uh, from inches to pixels to centimeters. I'm going to stay in inches here. And right now I have a design grid of six columns and six rows. And you can go ahead and make more. Let's do nine, for instance, nine columns and nine rows. That looks pretty good and you can see my margins my top and i'm going to actually reduce the size of my top and my left margin i'm going to increase there and or decrease there and then my bottom margin i'm going to increase to two and then my right margin i'm also going to increase to two you can just totally customize this to however you want to do it and you might be able to see the lines are really light but that's because you can actually customize the color of the lines too so i'm going to keep my nine by nine design grid i'm going to click ok and if I wanted the lines to be even darker, you can just go up back to the guide drop down menu and select change colors. And it asks you which um, layout you want to change the colors for the guidelines in. And right now I'm in normal view. So I'm just going to go ahead and give you something really, really bright uh, to work with here, this, <laughs> this pink color. And now you can see where that grid is. Now when you're in, um, when you would print this to PDF or when you were in slideshow mode, you're not going to see those grid lines. They're just sort of there when you're designing it in design view. So they're there to help you create really beautiful designs with a really clean and sleek uh, design grid. So I hope that you use this trick. Go ahead and download Brightside if you want to do it, or just go back and create um, those design grids manually on your own, but they will save you tons of time in creating sort of the layout for your slides or your pages in your report. Thanks for listening and stay tuned for the next video on tip number three, which is using the arrangement tools to align, perfectly align and perfectly distribute uh, objects and text boxes on your slide. Have a good one.